For over 30 years, the hallmark of Central Boiler has been spray-on urethane foam insulation. It's waterproof, airtight, keeps the heat in the water jacket, and delivers more heat to your house, even in the most extreme environment, like up here in northern Minnesota. This kind of insulation is high-tech and takes specialized equipment with specialized applicators, specialized training, not to mention talent. In addition, the foam components are stored in a special temperature-controlled environment. Urethane foam is comprised of two components held in these massive semi-tanker sized vessels. Component A, component B. During the application process, when the two chemicals are mixed, it results in an exothermic reaction which causes the blowing agent to boil. This results in the foam's expansion. Over the years, urethane foam insulation has been used in a lot of products. Water heaters, refrigerators, motor homes. It was even used by NASA on the Saturn V rocket, which got us to the moon. Here's a water jacket after it's been insulated. This space-age closed cell material is not only waterproof and airtight, but it also molds to the contours of the furnace, allowing for an even more compact unit. Insulation needs to do two things. It needs to not only insulate, it also needs to seal. With urethane foam insulation, it seals very well. No gaps, no airflow, nowhere for the heat to bleed off. Now we've been expounding on the virtues of urethane foam insulation. And you're probably wondering, since urethane foam insulation is so great, why would anybody use anything other than urethane foam insulation? A common alternative is fiberglass bat insulation. And there's a number of issues with fiberglass bat insulation. In fact, there's an old saying in the outdoor furnace industry, bats and gaps. Gaps are not good. In fact, bats lead to gaps. Over time, the fiberglass bat insulation settles exposing areas to the water jacket where you have extreme heat loss. This is very inefficient. And moisture is a major issue with fiberglass bat insulation. Let me demonstrate. Imagine a driving rain pushing underneath the rafters of the furnace, soaking the fiberglass bat insulation. Is this going to dry out? No. It's going to trap the moisture. It's actually going to cause additional settling, and over time it's going to trap the moisture against the water jacket, causing corrosion. Versus our top of the line spray on urethane foam insulation. Look at this. It's waterproof. In fact, it even floats. It's the best stuff out there. Waterproof, airtight. So the question is why would anybody use anything other than spray foam insulation? Well, because it's cheap. For over 30 years, Central Boilers invested the time, equipment, training, and resources to use this type of insulation, and it's been well worth it. Nothing else matches it, nothing even comes close. In fact, if it wasn't for the significant investment involved with urethane foam insulation, everybody would use it. Make sure you insist on a Central Boiler outdoor furnace with urethane foam insulation. Accept no substitutes. Oh.